Frame six of a possible nine. Five is the target. Now Sullivan now with something to think about, Joe. Yeah, he's putting Ronnie under pressure. With his attacking play, good safety. But you can't beat shots like that. He struck that one so well. Screwing back for the blue, the right side of the blue. Yeah, that was some repost, wasn't it? From O'Sullivan to losing the last two frames, a red like that. Just looking to reassert his authority, looking to pull rank on the young man once again here. Just lost the cue ball a little, though. Aye, he's on the blue, if he looks at it. To the right corner. Also on the green. He's looked at the blue now. That always looked the easier ball to get position. And you would expect O'Sullivan to win from here. All three, four reds available. And it's these invitational events where O'Sullivan has shown his best form this season by far, winning the Hong Kong Masters, winning the Champion of Champions. And so far looking sharp in this first foray into six Red World Championship territory. The ranking events have been more of a struggle for him. Just two quarterfinals all season, both lost emphatically without winning a frame. Well, Stab Moody broke off in this frame. Didn't get that cue ball close enough to the cushion. And Sullivan knocked in a terrific red. Well, how long has this frame been going? A couple of minutes and already it's close to being over. The pink means Moody can tie. But I'd be surprised if we miss this one. 35. It was a terrific long red from O'Sullivan to get in. He struck it so well, he timed it so well because that cue ball came back for the blue with no effort at all. 44. Possible 69 break then. Of course, the maximum, quote unquote, in the six reds is 75. So Sullivan, no stranger to maximums, 15 of them in his career, three at the crucible. One of them a shade over five minutes, which still beggars belief, really. 56. Records are there to be broken, and O'Sullivan set plenty, but I fancy that 147 break that he made against Mick Price at the Crucible will never be beaten. In terms of the pace at which he played it, and he's been pretty pacey here in. Frame eight. 